welcome to Discovery Island. Oh, what's wrong? It's the plane, the plane. The plane, boss. I don't know if you guys can see up in there, but they actually got kangaroo up by the tree of life. That's so cool. Yeah. Getting ready to do the safari. That's right. Woo! Safari time. Woo! Safari. Give it. Give us some cheetah edge. Cheetah edge. Cheetah edge and lion edge. Cheetah edge and lion edge. I didn't know those were words. They are now because they've just made them up. Wow. The dork has spoken. Bongo are known as the ghost of the forest since they are so rarely seen. They have their darker colorings and those stripes to help them blend in. We'll keep our eyes open for some hippos, but you can see some big birds there on our left. Those are pinked back pelicans. They get their name from the color of their backs turned during their mating seasons. Um, wow. well, despite their size, they are one of these smaller species of pelican, though they can still have a wingspan of almost nine feet. Great hideaway for hippos, but for lurking crocodiles as well. Uh -oh. Like the Nile crocodile. They are carnivores, so friendly reminder. Please stay oh, safe. Oh, that one's moving. See you, crocodiles. See you, <laughs> Pretty rare sight, see them moving around. <laughs> After a while, crocodile. Did you really just say crocodile food? Well, despite the name dog, they are a bit more closely related to a fox. They have similar tails as well as the same number of toes on each foot. Four. Yeah, I see them. Oh, oh yeah. Well, they look pretty cute, but they are certainly not cuddly. They are one of the most successful pack hunters in Africa with a success rate of 90%. It's higher than a lion and a cheetah. They also have those long curved horns, which they use for defense. They get down on their knees and then they show them off to anything willing to challenge them. Just domesticated them. As you can see, those horns are pretty large, but they're not too heavy. They're hollow on the inside. A honeycomb shaped pattern helps circulate their blood and keep them cool. You might be a little bit more familiar with the Ancoli's Americanized cousin, the Texas Longhorn. Out in Africa though, like Egypt where the Ancoli are from, cattle are seen as a sign of wealth. So the richer you are, the more cows you have. So you can't keep cows in a... You can see their rough edge pattern there on the coat that does let us know what they are on the side dress. You can see a couple back there practicing their sparring skills too. That is something that they do out in the wild called necking. It's a form of dominance amongst giraffes. Well, they are just practicing the actual action. Yeah, baby. Much more violent. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by his size and the fact there is only one, good chance it's a male. Males are usually found in a herd of fully grown males known as a bachelor herd or all of them living a solitary life. He is. You can see a few of those mandrels on our left over there too. They're hanging out right there. Most of the family is up ahead here though. Elephant booty. Well, larger groups like this are usually a mix of female and young, led by that matriarch. She's the oldest and the wow. largest of the females. She knows Well, sometimes throwing dirt on yourself just isn't enough. If you actually look on the ground underneath all the elephants, there's a little nugget. She's taking a nap down there. That's why they're all standing that way. They're Aww. in protective Aww. mode. Aww. That's so cute. You see the baby laying down, Josie? Well, it looks like we've also stumbled upon it. They're the tallest flamingo species. Because they are so tall, their pink pigment stretches just a little bit farther, so they're also the palest of the flamingos. Any good wilderness explorer knows that the flamingo will get their color from their diet. They eat a lot of food rich in beta carotene, things like shrimp and algae. When they eat enough, they'll turn pink. It's a process that can take about two years from their birth. Heading down that road there with that ostrich. And uh, you know, we're actually headed toward the other end of that road. I think we'll see He's chasing closer. the ostrich, which is funny because ostriches are like the most. Ostrich are the largest uh, bird in the world. You can't aggressive fly, animal course, though, I've ever seen. Because that'd be pretty scary. These wings more for direction. As Box black are actually relative to the wildebeest. In the right light, their darker brown coat looks almost purple. It's the reason why they were hunted to near extinction in the early 19th century. Look for those rhinos again here. In the meantime, looks like a whole pride. You can see two females actually, and then one male. He's all the way in the back there. 
They're all in a bit of a weird spot, but you can lay eyes on them pretty well. Oh, this is the whole pride. They typically comprise of two fem multiple females and one male. Girls do all the work, need more than one. Usually when the females are out hunting, males will stay home and take care of the cubs. The largest burrowing mammals. They'll dig a burrow with their tusk in their feet and then they will back in with their tusk facing out. That way they can ready to defend themselves at any time. His little tail. When he was a young warthog. See those ostriches a little bit too? And the ostriches, yeah. Uh, rhinos have such good hearing. You'll probably see their ears moving around trying to figure out where all the sound's coming from. Their ears are very large and shaped like funnels to help them channel the sound. Nine months without drinking water. But they'll drink it if it's there, but only out of convenience and not necessity. Superpower that comes in handy yeah. considering they are a desert dwelling animal. They can eat a large meal, they go wander out the desert until they find a new source of food. Do you see the burrito? Cars reduce, reuse, recycle. Many of the animals on the reserve are losing their natural habitats due to mining of a certain mineral found in electronic devices. Alright, we have just entered the, the back side of Pandora. The tenth wonder of the world. Shut up, crickets. Definitely. Night blossom is about to go down. Time for the fart blossom. Uh, I mean, the, the night blossom. Yeah. How'd it go? It's so cool. Yeah. So this this cast member did it right. Uh huh. We got we, we were measured at the front. She, yep. She passed. Yes. We went up to the top. She didn't pass up there. So they brought her back down to where she had passed at. Uh huh. And verified, and then said, "Okay, she's good." And we went and took us right to the front of the line. Really. So what she said was, from time to time, the, those those measuring things, people will lean on them, push on them, pull uh, on them. And by the end of the day, they're they're they've been changed. Oh. So they're not accurate. This cast member at Space Mountain last night didn't go through all that. Well, that's because she was kind of a right. witch. Right. right. So, Josie made it on the flight of passage Yay! just fine. And she had she did so good on the ride. You did. And she flew through Pandora. Did you have fun, baby? Yeah, what's that with you? Oh, this is called a night blossom. And it was so much fun. You want you want a sip? Good. Good, yummy. I didn't. <laughs> you can have the rest of it. Mommy's already had, had most of it. I'm glad you were such a good girl and she, she held great. on. She did great. Awesome. I'm like, I can't eat it. You guys have no mm. Isn't it yummy? It's. It's. It's good. It's good. This is my grandma's favorite. It's, <laughs> your grandma's never had that before. I like it. Do you like it? There, it's yeah. good. Yeah. I was worried about whether or not I was going to be able to get on. I drink this kind of drink while I was born. You've been drinking that since you were born? Not quite. You have a baby with you. Wow. Wow. That's pretty cool. Be sure to clear that your customs when you go back to air. All right. Yeah, the, the Christmas tree is all lit up at the front of the park. Ooh. All right, so we're like all in our bed clothes and everything, but I just I had to show you guys this monstrosity. One advantage of staying at Saratoga Springs is our outstanding food court. They have got probably probably the best food court, the best quick service food court, we've quick seen. service food court that I have that I've ever no we've not done art of animation i hear that's really good but. yeah but this but artist palette is fantastic and they have made this monstrosity this is a oreo nutella hazelnut hazelnut well nutella cupcake and i'm about to bite into this bad boy look what i got and they also got mickey ice cream sandwiches mm -hmm. and jersey's notching on a mickey mickey bar over there yeah if you can see over there but yeah Sugar rush time, baby.